Welcome back to America Tonight with me, Kate Delaney, and there's some controversy brewing. There's always some controversy when it comes to anatomically correct dolls or dolls that apparently have gone over the top. So check this out. There's a new doll that's coming into stores now across the country, and it's called the Breast Milk Baby. Supposedly it claims to teach young girls how to breastfeed. Uh, It's a company out of Spain. It comes with, I'll go into a little bit of detail, a halter top that has two flowers, and the little girl, you know, basically puts on the top, holds the baby up, uh, with the flowers, where the flowers are, and it makes suckling sounds. It is a huge seller, a top seller in Europe. And what they say on their website, I checked it out today, is it lets young girls express their love and affection in their most natural way possible, just like mommy. What do you think, folks, fair or foul? 800-259-5791. You know my digits, 800 800- Two five nine three seven ninety one. Amy Ziccarelli joins us now from Kidville in uh, Dallas, and she's an early childhood education expert. Amy, just initially your reaction when you heard about this doll. My initial reaction was what happened to playing with Cabbage Patch Kids, oversized baby dolls that cry, even just the ones that, you know, you feed the bottle or what have you, Um Children express themselves as well as learn through dramatic play. And let's let children be children. Um, Little girls love to act like mommy and nurture their motherly side. And I think this doll takes that behavior to a new level. Um, I'm a mother of two, owner of a kids-based business. I just don't think it's developmentally appropriate to teach a child how to breastfeed at such an early age. It's not that I, you know, I don't think that breastfeeding is a dirty behavior or inappropriate or sexualized in any way. I breastfed my children. Um, I just don't think it's an appropriate behavior to be teaching a young child. Yeah, and I mentioned that in Europe it was such a runaway seller, but in the United States, i got to tell you, just my initial reaction to whether I think, even from a product point of view, I just don't, I don't know that I think this is going to be a big seller. Do you? No, I mean, I think, you know, obviously there's a lot of controversy. There's two sides. Um, you know, there's the side that says, well, this is completely natural and that sort of thing. I mean, I, I can understand a little bit the parent who maybe has had a new baby in their home and they have, you know, older children in the home that are a little bit older children that are trying to, you know, to understand and, you know, talking to them about breastfeeding and kind of explaining the concept to them. I mean, that's a completely natural behavior. But this is a doll that takes on actually teaching breastfeeding. And so when it comes to dramatic play, which is very, um, you know, a great way for children to learn, you know, through different toys that they play with. You know, let's say they take pretend food in a frying pan and they put them together and they're making up food and serving like they were at a restaurant. This doll is very purposely teaching an action. It's not, um, it's not very creative in the play. It's actually teaching this behavior. And the question is, does that behavior need to be taught? at yeah. such an early age. Yeah, and you know this is your bag. Early childhood expert, as I said, an education expert. And kids, and, and you're the expert, I'm the talk show host, but don't kids take you where uh, where you lead them? In other words, if you lead them down this path, they're going to just follow. Right, right. It is it is a leading behavior. Like, when you look at, you know, play-based play and learning, this is, you know, it's a leading action. I mean, it's, it's, it's not the same debate, but it's similar. The, you know, six to seven hours of, of playing aggressive video games. I mean, is that healthy for the child? Is, you know, people go a step further and ask, oh, is that going to create a criminal down the road? What is this doll going to do? Well, it's, <laughs> you can't anticipate what, you know, what this is going to create, but with young children, this is aimed at young girls, you know, does it, 
does it push them into that realm of wanting children earlier? You know, all those questions start being asked. Yeah. And when you, you know, we look at kids, where, of what ages are they most impressionable, do you think? They're most impressionable at, I mean, the early ages. I mean, we're, we're talking, you know, that one to five years old is where that major development goes on of impressions. You know, at that four to five years old, which is where this doll is aimed, obviously anybody, you could buy it for any age. Um, that's when, that four to five years old, that's when they start to show some understanding of moral reasoning. They explore ideas about fairness, good or bad behavior. They compare themselves with others. They're developing friendships. They're developing kind of that awareness of other people's feelings. And interesting, that's when they show interest, start showing the interest in exploring sex differences between the boys and the girls. Yeah. Um, they do imagine a play with other children, and that's when they're doing dress up, house, all of that. And this is kind of where that doll is aimed, is in that, you know, age frame of children. Yeah. You mentioned that uh, you're a businesswoman, of course, Kidville. Explain for people listening what Kidville is and what you do. Kidville is a it's a one stop shop for kids. We do classes in music, art, gym, dance, yoga. Uh, we also have a boutique for children um, with clothes and accessories. We have an actual play village that's got a diner, a gas station. Um, beauty boutique, grocery store, where they actually go in and there's toys set out and they do their own dramatic play and that sort of thing. Um, We are aimed at ages zero to six. And we also have a music program called Little Maestros that's a four-piece live band with a lead singer, guitar, Mm. um, drummer, keyboard, and it very interactive with the children that kind of teaches that music concept with the instruments and not just hearing the music. Mm, yeah, very, very cool. All right, Amy Zigarelli, thanks uh, so much. We appreciate your time here on ATN. Okay, thanks so much. All right, can you imagine uh, getting that toy, the Breast Milk Baby, that's what it's called, and the company is a company that I mentioned out of Spain, Bergeron Toys, and that's how you pronounce it. So, it has that top I was describing, and ultimately, in the United States, can you imagine these really, really little girls asking all these questions and running around with these dolls? I just don't see it flying. I don't care what school it is or what crowd uh, these little girls are in, whether they're going to pre-K or it's a little bit above pre-K, but but pretty young is what we're talking about here and the company's fighting back and saying it's ridiculous that this just lets the girls do what they should do and they can be just like their mother but you have to ask yourself come on is it too far of course it's too far is is the pendulum has swung in such a wild direction on this and the key thing here is i just don't see it flying in the u.s regardless This company in Europe, it's working, but I don't see it working here anyway. They must have done some research and tried to test it out as far as bringing the dolls into the United States. And you'd have to order it off the website anyway for the most part. I don't think very many stores are carrying them. And it has kind of exploded into, as I said at the beginning, mini controversy where people are talking about, boy, you got to be kidding me. You've got this, the suckling sounds, the burping sounds, and, uh, you know, phone lines are blowing off the hook. A station in New York did a story on it, and they, of course, perfect place for man on the street. You know what that is, right? You just randomly pick people and ask them, hey, what do you think of this? And you show them the doll, and they freak out. And New Yorkers don't mince words, and that's exactly what they did they freaked out saying it's ridiculous uh crazy to let little kids wor- be worrying about what breastfeeding is and breastfeeding and i guess in general i guess that's the the whole gist of this 
I mean, to me, why are you taking that route anyway? Can't can they just be little girls for a little while longer? I mean, the second they come out of the womb, they still have placenta on their head. Hey, this is it. you got to learn how to be a woman right now. Coming up next on the flip side, we're going to Hollywood, so hang with us.